Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Champions League predictions match day 2 this time It's coming around ever so quickly so guys I'm going to get straight down to this video so you know what to do Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it Thanks for watching and let's go So the first game we're going to look at is Ajax versus Besiktas I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, sorry if I mispronounce it in any way shape or form don't really know much uh, about both clubs. I'm, you know, I'm really a bit unsure of. But I do know Ajax did have uh, had a link with Chelsea. I'm not sure whether that link still exists between the two clubs. Probably know a bit more about Ajax. I do besit us. Uh, As I said, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. But you know, it's going to be a really interesting game. Uh, 5:45 kick off UK time. So I'm going to go for a draw, I can't see really any clubs doing anything and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Shakhtar Delect versus Inter Milan. Shakhtar Delect, I think they might join the match day one, I'm not too sure about that, way. please don't harm me on that. Inter Milan maybe look like the better odds on favourites if I'm being honest. And I think I'm going to throw it that way and give it to Inter. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is PSG versus Manchester City. Probably a game I will watch. You know, it be a really good game between these two clubs. Will Lionel Messi be fit? That's been the number one question for PSG over this past few weeks. I think he's picked up an injury in the league game. Manchester City really have struggled to, you know, Lift up on form in the Premier League over the past few weeks. Uh, drawing against Southampton. So I think PSG will win this one. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 scoreline for that one. I expect a lot of goals in that one. My next one is RB Leipzig versus Club Bruges. RB Leipzig maybe, you know, just... Might edge this game a little bit because being at home, it's going to be a really interesting game though between both of these clubs. Club Bruges, Leipzig, it's going to be a very interesting game. But I'm going to call this one a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Porto versus Liverpool. Porto, obviously. Jason Mourinho only used to be manager of Porto. I think they've played uh, in Europa League the past couple of seasons. Yet yeah, again, please don't hold me on that. I'm not too sure on that, if I'm being honest. Liverpool, maybe, you know, getting back to their old ways. It's got to be a very interesting game for both of these clubs. But I'm going to go for just a Liverpool win. Just about, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Liverpool win. My next one is AC Milan versus Atletico Madrid. Griezmann is back at, at, at Atletico. AC Milan, mm, this could be a really interesting game, but I'm going to stick up for the Spanish side in this one, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Borussia Dortmund versus Sporting Lisbon. Borussia Dortmund obviously will be the auto favourite, you know, playing ever so well in Bundesliga. I ain't read much on the Portuguese, uh, Portuguese league at this present time, but I do know Borussia Dortmund playing ever so well in their uh, Bundesliga league. So it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these sides, and I'm going to go for a Borussia Dortmund win. And I'm going to go for a 3 0 Borussia Dortmund win. My next one is Real Madrid versus Sheriff. Real Madrid, yeah, this could be an interesting one. I think they're top of the league, as I'm speaking. I did know Sheriff, I think they drew their last game. Uh, oh, did they draw a win? I can't quite remember. But, you know, fair play to Sheriff for whatever they did draw or win their last game. I did sort of predict it that way, if I remember correctly, purely because, yeah, it's the first game. I think that, I can't remember who they played. I think it might have been shut out the net. And basically, it just basically, you know, it speaks to me. Um, 
but fair play to Sheriff as I've said. So I'm going to go for a Real Madrid to win this time round now. I just think it'd be a bit of a bigger team for Sheriff to go and get a point or maybe the three. And I'm going to go for another 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Atlanta versus Young Boys. Young Boys did beat Manchester United in the last uh, match day by a 1-0 deficit. Um, fair play for Young Boys for doing that. It's going to be a very interesting game with Atlanta this time. Will Atlanta, you know, beat Young Boys? I think this one might be a draw. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is St. Petersburg versus Mayo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Apologies if I'm getting it wrong in any way, shape or form. But I'm going to go... Maybe just for a St. Petersburg win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 St. Petersburg win. My next one is Bar Munich versus Dynamo Kiev. Bar Munich to me really does speak out a lot more on the Bar Munich side of things. Because of the players they've had in the past and the players they've got now. I have watched them a lot last season I think it was. I don't have seen them at all this season yet. Because of obviously... You know, all the football and that's been going on. But I'm going to stick up for Bayern Munich to win this leg, uh, this match day, sorry. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bayern Munich win. My next one is Benfica versus Barcelona. The Lord of uh, Benfica. Obviously, Portuguese league again. Barcelona, I've watched them a couple of times this season. Uh, drawing two La Liga games that I've watched at Barcelona. With me, something's happened at Barcelona. They need to, you know, start learning how to play without Messi. And it's not really paying off. I remember one of the games I watched with Barcelona this season. And basically what happened was, you know, they went 1-0 down. And they got an equaliser. I think they had about 20 or shots that game. And they just could get that second goal. And then the other game, I think it finished 0 now, if I remember rightly. So because of that, because I've seen Barcelona play this season, I'm going to stick up for a Benfica win. And I'm going to stick up for a 3-1 Benfica win. My next one is Manchester United versus Villarreal. Now, Man United lost in their last match day uh, in the Champions League to two young boys. They've also lost to Aston Villa this previous weekend in the Premier League. This sort of games can really make it, you know, a bit of a bigger situation with the likes of Manchester United. They still yet to win a trophy. They got knocked out of the League Cup this week as well. For you guys that don't know, it's the FA Cup, uh, not the FA Cup, the EFL Cup or the League Cup or whatever you call it, the Carmel Cup, it's currently called. But, you know, they have had a really disappointing week. Will it? Will they um, make it this uh, this match day two in the prim uh, in the Champions League? Can you say Premier League then? I don't think so. I think Philoel will cause an upset at Old Trafford, and I'm going to go for a three nil scoreline for Villarreal on that one. My next one is Wolfsburg versus Slovenia. Wolfsburg obviously big in the Bundesliga, and Slovenia obviously. Uh, La Liga, two big clubs going up against one another here. I'm going to go for a draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Salzburg versus. I still think it's um, it's it's LOSC, but I still think it's Leon. I think they might just change their badge, but yeah, LOSC. It's going to be a really interesting game. Um, LOSC, big in France. And uh, Salzburg, I think, yet again, is in the Bundesliga. Both teams, both big teams as well. I'm going to go for another draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My last one is Juventus versus Chelsea. Juventus have really not kicked off. In Syria, really are struggling this season without Cristiano Ronaldo in their team. It just proves really that one man can make a squad. But a club like Juventus, I don't know how, you know, they've gone so poor without 
just the one player. They got big names over at that club in Syria, and yet they're struggling. Chelsea, on the other hand, doing okay in the Premier League. Lost to Manchester City this previous weekend by one goal to nil. But never mind that. With Chelsea, you know, still looking good with, in the Premier League. I'll stick up with a Chelsea win this weekend, uh, this match day two in the Champions League. And I'll go for a 2 0 Chelsea win for that one. But anyway, guys, I'll go bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big, fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.